okay let's uh, look at uh, the different sources in which uh, we can make money and uh, based on that we can uh, forecast the uh, revenues for the next few years because we are even uh, expecting that there will be a, a growth in uh, revenues right uh, we were expecting a growth in revenues of uh, some percentage every uh, period 7% or something we have taken it as an assumption so even uh, going with that uh, assumption how much uh, revenue typically uh, I can make during the entire period so once we have our revenues that will be a part of our uh, operations and maintenance because right from 2014 right first two years is more of construction and 31 years is more of operations so during this operations how much revenue is something which I can make that is uh, one number which we are looking at and uh, the team uh, has identified the different sources of revenue that can uh, typically be made there are some 8, 10, 12, 15 sources of revenue they have identified in this list where you can make that money so probably uh, we will uh, put those revenue assumptions also So just when I document them, revenue assumptions, where we are talking of item which is bus platforms usage. So there is a turnaround. So probably two times a day. And amount, probably for... Uh, and uh, the occupancy because there could be an issue with respect to uh, not fully occupied probably uh, I mean when you are saying the bus platform there is a turnaround of two times in a day and 50 rupees per vehicle and 85 percent of the usage so in some days there may not be two times turnaround so something like that and similarly this is talking of entry for each bus once at least per day 1500 per bus per month is what you are charging and 80% uh, occupancy or usage then bus fingers you are charging around 480 per SFT per year which has an occupancy of 70% the main lobby Again, 480 per SFT per year with an occupancy of 85%. Budget hotel, you are charging something from them. Yeah, you are charging 500 rupees per day from them. Or probably uh, for every uh, for every uh, person that is coming in, you must be uh, charging. Uh, you, are, you are giving it an outsourcing and you are taking it around 500 uh, per day on the budget hotel then dormitories you are charging around 50 per bed per, be, per day with a 75 percent occupancy then driver amenities 25 per day per bed 75 percent occupancy then you have your uh, primary health center 480 per SFT, so you are giving it on rent, 480 per SFT per year with a 100% usage, so you are getting your rent like that. Then bank extension counter also is more like that, 480 per SFT per year you are charging with a 100% occupancy. Administrative office, again uh, 480 per SFT per year with a hundred percent occupancy travel operator space even there you are charging 480 per SFT per year but the occupancy is 85 percent because some of them may move and that space may be vacant for some period at least then petrol pumps you are charging 10 lakhs per acre per year 10 lakhs per acre per year 
and 80% usage now 90% usage auto service center again you have 10 lakhs per year per acre with 80% usage parking for four wheelers so you are making a very detailed plan so you are charging 20 rupees per vehicle and almost a hundred percent usage every day parking for two wheelers another charge of 10 rupees per vehicle and a hundred percent usage parking for hired transport 30 rupees per vehicle with a hundred percent usage and you are also saying revenue from ads almost 3 crores per year or 300 lakhs so these are the various sources of revenue which you have planned right so based on this you can uh, very well compute what could be your revenue the overall revenue from each of the sources for us using uh, all these things what are the different sources of uh, revenue and how much we are going to get from each of the sources and that too probably taking into account even the inflation uh, factor also right so yeah so we can uh, we can create one sheet exclusively for revenue because these are so many assumptions relating to the revenue so we can uh, create an exclusive uh, sheet which will uh, cater to all over a 33 year period because we are looking at the revenue growth also at a particular percentage right so i'll create a new sheet exclusively for revenues wherein we can very well uh, put that year number and year and all that stuff so i'll again point to that location by saying equal to whatever the calculations were this one year number i'll point to this equal to year number Okay, so I am just pointing to year number using those two values as it is. So I can drag these things again to whatever extent possible. So only up to 33 years is what it will write. Similarly, I will drag this also down. Year. Even this I am dragging it to whatever extent possible. So I am getting these are the years for the future. These two are the same that are pulled from the earlier scenario itself. Right. Now the that is where our revenues process is starting. Probably yes, because the list of revenues we know as a part of our assumptions here. I will take the list as it is from here. So instead of copying that list what I will do is in the revenues. Just because I need the heading, I'll simply say an equal to and point to the first location here, bus platforms. So I'll get the bus platforms here. Just getting this bus platform. I mean, because we have made this as a part of the assumptions here, just getting the same list in this revenue sheet by just doing an equal to to the first one. Yeah, year number we have done it yesterday as a part of that basic calculation sheet, right? Equal to and just point to that location and you drag it. And then we are uh, putting up uh, the, the list of revenue assumptions because once we make it for one of them, 
probably uh, uh, probably uh, we should be able to generate the same with respect to the others okay so once i create the bus platforms i can simply drag that down so that it uh, generates for all the other things for me so i just say equal to that first bus platforms one and then i drag it down so i have this list now for each thing i can very well plan out the revenue assumption based on the revenue assumptions whatever uh, we have we can very well uh, plan out how much revenue i can get out of each yeah now as per the numbers if i have to go with the bus platform see any of for all these things i'll not get anything in the first two years right so even for that see one way is i directly go and write it in 2014 and you start making the numbers but again if that is the case if my dates change then again manually i have to go and change it there rather than that i'll say if the years of these two things of the construction date is i mean if if this year is less than the end of construction date don't put anything there only after it is either equal to or greater than the construction date or the start of the operations period then only your revenue will come up so okay as a first step for each thing i'll say equal to if this number the year number is less than if this year is less than the year of in the basic calculations i'll take the construction ending date if the year 2012 or whatever we have mentioned there it is less than the construction ending date i'll put this as zero which means no revenue during that period otherwise there is some revenue during that period so for the time being let me put it as some x i'll come back and replace that x but for the same time being because i have to analyze what has to be put in there i'll just put in as some dummy number x right so i'll uh, do this so here it is saying me zero because this is the construction phase and just before i drag it probably i should put a dollar here and the basic calculations b2 because i am dragging it to the right i need uh, the dollar before b at least i need a dollar before b so if i drag it to the right it gives me x for all these years it gives me x only for the first two years it gives me zero so this is a common line which i'll have to write for all all the years so now instead of x i'll write the actual logic what is that multiplication whatever are the number assumptions which we have made i'll multiply i'll bring those number assumptions into picture right so here i will bring in this is how we'll uh, expand the formula a little bit little bit sometimes this formula can go as a very big formula also so we will be making it as a step by step phase so that we can uh, develop it much better okay i'll slightly expand this formula i'll remove this x now okay because i am talking about bus platforms now i'll have to think through the entire logic what is the revenue generation model for the bus platforms okay i'm coming into this assumption sheet the bus platform is saying that there are 200 or or the bus platform is saying that you are charging 50 rupees per vehicle right so here i'll put
instead of x i am trying to find out the real revenue generation uh, mechanism so i am coming to okay in the assumption sheet i have okay for the bus platforms amount i am charging is 50 per vehicle okay amount i am charging is 50 per vehicle into the turnaround time is two times right multiplied by number of vehicles that could be there the number of uh, vehicles I have used the number of vehicles typically in this assumptions here yeah the bus bay units are, are uh, platform bay unit is a platform so the number of such platforms I am creating are 200 right for city buses as well as okay for city buses as well as intercity buses both put together they should be 230 platforms 200 plus 30 so here the rates are saying I am charging 50 rupees per vehicle for each platform right 50 rupees per vehicle for each platform and I am at least expecting that platform to be filled two times a day right two times a day and uh, like that I have 230 such platforms where I will uh, put it as uh, this I will add up this number plus this number so I have 230 such platforms and the occupancy is 85 percent so I will multiply this with the occupancy so this much revenue at least I should get per day this is per day so probably I should when I have to multiply it per year I will take it as multiplication by 365 this entire thing is per day so I will take it as a multiplication of 365 assuming because more or less all the years will be at around 365 or probably if you are even more particular about it take it as 365.25 as an approximate year or if you are even more particular about it find out uh, whether it's a leap year or not and based on that make it as 366 or 365 it all depends on our assumptions there okay but otherwise our regular assumption is 365 so that is the amount i am getting in year zero which is 2012 so as it progresses that revenue assumption there is some percentage growth based on my revenue growth assumption. So that is where I will put into 1 plus whatever is my revenue growth assumption was there. The revenue growth assumption I pull it from here. This is my revenue growth assumption 7%. For the first year there may not be any growth but from second year onward this is applicable. So again I will put it as just like the way we have done for inflation. I will take it as to the power. I will take it as to the power this year number. Year number minus 1. Just like the way we have uh, taken for the inflation values across. Because first year the power is 0. From the second year onwards, I will have the value. So, I can take it in that manner. Now, if this is the kind of a picture I am creating, so this gives me a value of 0 itself still. But now, I need to see before I drag it, okay, assumption C20, C125 will still remain the same. So, I will put dollar Assumption B125 will have the dollar, B67 will have the dollar, B68 another dollar, D125 will have a dollar, almost everything will have dollars except for this number. Now this entire number I can even, okay let's see the calculation. So this is the total. Now I will try to drag it before 
we make any changes to it, that x should be replaced by some numbers. That x is replaced by some number. At least it is saying in the first year, I am getting almost this much. So probably I should convert this entire thing by dividing this entire number by 10 to the power of 5. So because I want it in lakhs. I will divide this entire number by 10 to the power of 5. So that this entire numbers I get in the form of lakhs. Probably you can check this out. 1 if you are doing all others will simply follow. The same logic we can uh, use for almost all the uh, parameters one by one, right? I can uh, simply uh, still go with, see to repeat the stuff, what I will do is, I will copy this formula as it is from here like this, right? I will copy the formula as it is from here and uh, escape. And I'll paste it here. So that I replicate only that uh, as I'm this part. Only this part. Even, even uh, only this part will be replaced. Because uh, that assumption, one plus assumptions, uh, uh, that part, uh, which is uh, the revenue growth assumption will be there for every year. Right, uh, that revenues B1 minus 1, that entire part will be the same. Only the collection mechanism will differ. And probably if uh, it is a daily kind of amount, I will multiply with 365. In some cases, I have a different model for uh, calculation. So that's where uh, I am still removing the 365. Wherever it is applicable, I will write that 365 part. Now, when I do an entry for each bus, Right, entry for each bus, we are talking about uh, 1500 per bus per month. So, like that I can multiply with uh, number of buses to calculate the entry for each bus. Right, so we are uh, talking about the entry for each bus. So, the, the bus, uh, here this is more about the depot, which can accommodate 1000 buses. So, we are saying entry per bus is around 1500. So, I will simply do the multiplication that way. So, I will simply say here, in this part, only this part I will delete. And in this part, I will make it as, okay, first I will do that, uh, this section, where I am having, okay, entry per bus per month, 1500 per bus per month multiplied by turnaround of 1, multiplied by occupancy of 80% and also multiplied by the number of buses. Number of buses in the depot, I am talking about uh, 1000 buses or something. The buses that can be parked idle, so parking per bus per month is 1500. So, I have 1000 such buses. So, I am simply putting up this. So, in, only instead of, instead of whatever was the revenue assumption for that, in the, in the earlier uh, aspect multiplied by, I mean where we have done, just one sec, again I will show it. The same formula I have copy pasted. Right? Uh, and after this, only this part I am deleting. Because the uh, rest all are probably even 365 I will delete because the calculation for not all calculations may be on a day, day basis. Right? Some of them here in this case it is per bus per month. So I may have to multiply it by 12 kind of thing to make it yearly. So this part I am removing. So for as far as this is concerned, rest all I am keeping because the, the revenue assumption of 7% growth and that, that entire part will remain the same and even before this year number comparison that part will remain the same. So only for that I will go into this assumption sheet. 
I am taking 1500 per bus. No, you copy the formula, not drag. Manually copy the formula. No, it will not change. You copy the formula like this. Not dragging of the formula. When you copy the formula like this, at the formula bar, do an escape. Come to the next cell and paste it. It will still be B2 only. When you drag it, it will change its position. See, do it like this. Just see here. Probably parallelly doing is creating the problem. Copy. I do a simple control C here. Escape. Come to the next cell. Paste. This will still give me B2 only. Press and escape. Whenever exact formula without locations and all need to be copied, you can just copy at a formula level. From assumptions up to probably 365, I'll delete it. I'll just retain that revenue assumptions part. So instead of that, for this whatever are the assumptions, I'll include only that much. 1500 per bus per month, multiplied by 80% occupancy, multiplied by turnaround time, multiplied by how many buses are coming, what is the accommodation per bus. So there are thousand such buses that are available. So I am multiplying with the parking for idle buses. That is something on a monthly basis. Now I will convert it into yearly basis by multiplying it by 12. So I will simply do a multiplication of 12 instead of 365 in the earlier case. Now this should give me my number. Before I drag it, I should simply put the dollars again. So all from the assumption sheet will have dollars. That's it. Now if I try dragging this, probably entry for each bus, I am going to get this much. Assumption this much, C126, D126, if I look at this, 1500 per bus per month, It's the same process for almost all these items, right? Because uh, we are taking that corresponding assumption, whatever for each different sources of generating revenue. These are all the different sources of generating revenue for me, right? Similarly, if I just look at uh, one more, where I look at the bus fingers or any of these things, again, there also I will copy the same formula again. Okay, this is the formula. I am copying it. Again the same logic, I will take out this part. Whatever is the revenue assumption relating to it. So regarding this bus fingers, I will go here. From the assumption sheet. 
what is the mechanism of so here i am saying the amount is this much 480 per sft per year is the way i am charging the rental here 480 per sft per year multiplied with uh, whatever is the occupancy rate All the calculation remains the same. So, because it is per SFT per year, I want to find out what is the SFT associated with the bus fingers. So, I will just uh, see as a part of my calculation how many SFT are they occupying. So, here the bus fingers are occupying total of 25,000 SFT. So, I am multiplying it with uh, 25,000 SFT. And there are 5 such ones. So, I am multiplying again this number with 5. So, this is what is adding up. So, it is just a simple mathematics where you are trying to find out how much revenue I am going to get per year. So, for each of the sources, we are trying to find out how much revenue are we going to get from each of the sources per year because I am giving them on rent or I am running them. So, this is the source of revenue for me for each of these items. Now, again, before I drag, I will put the appropriate dollars. Right, probably uh, this, uh, you can even take it as an exercise uh, back home also because it is a very straightforward calculation. If we are getting stuck at the calculations here, we may not be able to complete towards the end. So, I will uh, complete this and I will give you this sheet so that you can directly use this sheet and move forward to the other steps. Otherwise, I mean, it is a very straightforward kind of a calculation. Right, so we are dragging this uh, to the last, saying this is the revenue I am going to get from the bus fingers. Then similarly, I can think of main lobby and various stuff. So, I will copy the same formulas again. So, probably uh, across all, I can copy the same formula. I will copy the same formula across all which will finally give me what is my final revenue assumption in all these aspects. Okay, the total revenues. Now I will see, okay, main lobby, what is the way I can generate the, what is the way I can generate the money? The main lobby I am charging 480 per SFT per year. Right, so I will simply uh, take again that calculation. For the main lobby, 480 per SFT. Similarly, 85% occupancy. Multiplied by whatever is the SFT per the main lobby. The passenger lobby, this is the SFT I have, 1 lakh SFT. So, that much is what I am generating as a revenue out of it. So, I will take it uh, as this number. Again, appropriate uh, dollars wherever required. All these numbers, I will put them as dollars. So, these three I am putting as dollars which will give me that the revenue which I am generating out of the main lobby is going to be this much for each of the years. Then similarly, I can talk about the budget hotel. In, the, in terms of the budget hotel, I am generating 500 per day. Depending on the number of beds I am having, I am uh, generating 500 per day. So again, I will uh, I'll take out this calculation. Sorry. Yeah, because this is the this is the repeated one. Because if we spend time here, probably the actual part of cash flows and all, because this is just a case in terms of the extension to the case. So what I'll do is I'll complete this and give you the sheet, so that from here you can take the remaining part. Because this is just a simple Excel calculation. I mean, the, probably if we spend time here, the the real part in terms of the valuation will get lost and probably we cannot spend beyond the end of the day today. So that's where I would like to utilize the time in a more effective manner rather than because we have anyhow done for two of them. 
we can the same exercise just what is the revenue out of each of them okay so i am taking this part so for uh, budget hotel i am again going back in terms of the budget hotel it is uh, costing us i mean he is charging 500 per day multiplied by the occupancy rate of 75% because this is per day i'll multiply it with 365 and the number of beds because this is uh, per bed that is the price i'll multiply it with the number of beds with respect to the budget hotel because this is not on a per sft basis i am having 250 such beds or uh, 100 such beds so i am multiplying with uh, 100 beds which will give me the total calculation for the budget hotel again putting the appropriate dollars so the overall project we should see how much revenue is it going to generate if all my assumptions are true okay in case of budget hotel this is the revenue i am going to generate similarly i can look at dorms again the dormitory calculation goes as 50 rupees per day per bed so 50 rupees per day per bed into occupancy of this much into number of beds dormitory there are 500 beds into 365 days which is giving me a revenue of some number in case of dormitories so this is the calculation for dormitories i am getting these many lakhs out of the dormitories similarly i can look at driver amenities the driver amenities are also going at there are 1000 such beds per drivers multiplied by i am charging 25 rupees per driver per day per day per bed into 75% occupancy into 365 days so the driver amenities go with these are the driver amenities the primary health center this is going at 480 per sft per year with a 100% utilization so 480 per sft 480 into 100% utilization into number of sft for a primary health center so oh, i'll look at uh, the primary health center only one unit with 3000 sft so this is the revenue that i can generate out of the primary health center so just making sure that uh, we don't make mistakes in these calculations uh, multiplication part so this is the revenue that can be generated out of the primary health center for us so these many lakhs similarly the bank extension counter can go to again there 480 per sft per year and uh, there are how many uh, the bank extension counters there are 3 with 1500 sft each and i am charging 480 per sft per year with 100% utilization so the bank extension counters also i'll put the dollars so 
So this is the revenue I'm generating out of the bank extension counters. Similarly, the administrative offices for administrative offices 480 per SFT per year. So I'll put 480 per SFT per year for the administrative office 480 into 100% utilization and area wise administrative offices there are 5 with 300 SFT each. So again putting the appropriate dollars. All right. Then similarly, the travel officers, travel officers also are coming out to 480 per SFT per year. Again, I'll pull them as travel officers for tour operators. This is the one. There are 25 such officers with 400 SFT each and I am charging them 480 per SFT per year with an occupancy of 85%. So taking all these and doing a simple multiplication across, it's only just observing the numbers and putting uh, the appropriate so that our calculations don't go wrong. And in the petrol pumps, for the petrol pumps, I am saying 10 lakhs per year per acre. So going at, so this I will take as 10 lakhs per year with a 90% utilization per acre. So petrol pumps totally are there, petrol pumps totally are there in a 2 acre space. So I will just multiply them. But in this case, I don't require divide by 10 to the power of 5 because the number is already there in lakhs. So I'll simply put uh, the dollars wherever appropriate. So this is the amount with respect to petrol pumps. Similarly, I'll go with uh, auto servicing. Auto servicing also 10 lakhs per year per acre. So, autos, four, la four acres is the area, 10 lakhs per year per acre. So, 10 lakhs per year per acre into 80% utilization. And this also I don't need divided by 10 to the power of 5 because it is already in lakhs. So, even for, so this is another source of revenue. Then parking for four wheelers. Parking for four wheelers is talking of 20 per vehicle. So 20 per vehicle with a 100% utilization. This is per day. So you have 365 days and the number of vehicles, number of four wheelers that can be accommodated, it can accommodate up to 200 vehicles. So again the appropriate dollars from four wheeler parking I am getting this much per year. So this is what I get from four wheeler parking. Similarly from the two wheeler parking I can plan out. Which is again, there is a space for 2,000 two-wheelers. I am charging 10 rupees per vehicle and 100% utilization. That is per day, so I multiply it with 365. 
so even the two wheelers is these are the numbers then for the high transport also the same logic I am getting 30 rupees per vehicle with a 100% utilization and uh, assuming 100 vehicles per day around 365 days. So the revenue out of the hired vehicle is this much. And finally the revenue from ads we are saying 3 crores per year. As directly it is being said, revenue from ads, I am not talking of any other number, I am simply taking it as 3 crores directly. So, here we have that revenue from ads, just 300 lakhs is what I am taking with an inflation. Uh, with an increase in the revenue per year. So now if I drag all these things, these are the revenue assumptions for almost all the years. I drag all these things. This is what will come out as my revenue assumptions for the entire period. So from the ads, I am going to get almost 26 crores. So the overall uh, revenue for Budget hotel, right? Okay. So I am saying the amount, see, budget hotel you are charging 500 per day. 500 per day into number of beds into occupancy percentage into 365. Yeah, because that is per day. So the total revenue, I'll simply add up. The sum of all these numbers is what will add up to our total revenue. In the first one, two years, I'll not get any revenue. But as it is moving, this is what is my revenue assumption till the last, almost towards the end. I am getting 161 crores per year. Initially, I am getting around 21 crores per year. Revenue wise, every year in 2014, I am expecting around 21 crore per year. And similarly, as it moves, these are the numbers. 